The night surfing event is, funnily enough, held at dark. Surfers don some LED lights into their surfboards, hit the Atlantic in the depth of night, and surf in a team format. Huge crowds gather, and it's one of the great spectacles of the pro anglais. In fact, there's nothing else like it in the surfing world. like summer in France, you know, it's it's pretty much the best time of the year. It gets dark at like 10 p.m., 10.30, so everyone is on the side walking by the sea, watching, and uh, they come have dinner at like 8. There's people, you know, drinking beers, there's activity, there's concerts, and for the people that don't even know surfing, they come, they walk by, they watch, they're like, oh, you know, they get excited and, you know, intrigued. I just love the vibe around this event. It attracts so many people and because it's just a specialty event and a team event too, it has this more relaxed atmosphere and this team spirit. When there's like big events like that in town, you always want to be there and make a good show for everyone. You've also always made a point of competing in the night surfing event, which is a really unique event, isn't it? What brings you back for that event? Why do you enjoy that so much? I saw a video and I was like, oh yeah, it looks so cool. So I want to do this. They gave me an invitation. I was so excited and then every year I was like, I need to be there. There's so many people and for your sponsor as well, it's super important to be there. I'm glad it's such a special place for this kind of surfing, you know, best place to be. not something that you do normally at home is it so or, or anywhere so <laughs> how, how, how weird is that it was hard for me to have the good orientation like being in the dark is really hard uh, even though we have the leds on the boards and the lights to see the waves it's pretty challenging I have to say one of the more memorable moments was when you almost um, took out your friend Mark Lackerman almost decapitated him I was really having trouble to find scores, you know, and then I saw this perfect ramp, you know, for air, and then I was like, oh, okay, let's do the show, you know, I'm a showman, so I was like, just, let's go for it, and then Mark was just, like, doing a bottom turn. That was scary, because I think I was about this to hurt him, you know, happy that I didn't hit him, you know. episode episode four we look at the waves and spoiler alert this event has been blessed with pumping waves each and every year stay tuned folks do you like that well if so subscribe over there and then watch more videos over there and then tell us your favorite videos down there it's a three-step process do them all now